Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. I'm Muzaffar Zarabidin. If you remember in my first video, I did mention that the common unit in measuring water quality parameters is milligram per liter. And now I would like to introduce another unit which is called milli equivalent per liter. Okay, milli equivalent per liter. This one is liter. So how is it milli equivalent per liter related to milligram per liters? So the answer is milli equivalent per liter is equal to milligram per liter divided by equivalent mass. So the question now is, what is equivalent mass? Equivalent mass is equal to atomic mass. If you remember, I mentioned atomic mass in the periodic table divided by the valency. Okay, let's make an example. For example one, which is in your notebook, okay, under the topic of measurement of alkalinity and hardness, part B, okay, on page 11 under the topic of milli equivalent per liter. So your example one is calculate the equivalent mass for calcium iron. So in order for you to find out the equivalent mass for calcium iron, you, you have to find out the atomic mass. So if you refer to this periodic table, this is calcium. So the top number is the atomic number, which we are not interested with. The second one, the bottom number is the atomic mass number, and that is 40.08. Therefore, that is 40.08 being written here, divided by the valency. So you can see the valency for calcium is 2 plus. Okay? So I would like to add, when you talk about the valency, this is actually the absolute charge of an atom. I suppose to use of an iron. Okay? So if you have calcium with 2 plus, so the absolute charge is 2. If you have sulfate an iron, whereby the charge is negative 2, so the absolute charge is still 2. Okay? Now, the equivalent mass for calcium is 40.08 divided by 2, which is equivalent to 20.04. So if you like to round up, round up, I'm sorry, the number is 20, or the answer is 20. So that is the answer that you are looking for, for example 1. Okay? Thank you.